Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how I get my kind of gross brushes super squeaky clean. So these are my current brushes, these are what I use on a daily use, so they're pretty gross. And I'm going to be using the Sigma Spa Express Brush Cleaning Mat. So it's a thin rubber mat and I love this because it has different textured surfaces. So there's half and half, so one side is for your face brushes and the other half is for your eye brushes. And they have a wash area, a rinse area and a redefine area. So you can really get your brushes super clean and look after them. So the mat has these rubber sticky things which are good because they stick to the sink so it doesn't move around. There's loads of ways you can wash your brushes, you can use a soft and gentle baby shampoo, you can use olive oil and dish soap or you can use a brand Pacific brush shampoo. Today I'm going to be using the Sigma Sig Magic brush shampoo. So I just wet the mat a bit and then take my brush and dampen it with what is on the mat. Then I'll add the shampoo, just a couple of drops because a little bit goes a long way. And I'll be using the wash of face area for this big face brush. And I just gently swirl it around on top of the textures. You don't want to press down too hard because you don't want to ruin your bristles. And always wash your brushes downwards because you don't want to get water in the metal area because that's where bacteria grows and you can ruin the glue. And then I just keep repeating the process till it runs pretty clear. For a big face brushes, I like to rinse them off under the tap and then they're super clean and fluffy. So I'm just going to repeat the same process for this contour brush. So I'm just adding some Sigma shampoo on. Then I'm just going to gently swirl it around on the textured area. Remove some of the shampoo and then use the rinse area on the mat just to get rid of the shampoo. I squeeze the excess water out gently and then fluff it up on my fingers or you can use the refine area on the mat. So I'm repeating the process on this highlighter brush and using all the areas on the textured mat on the face side. So I just swirl it around to wash it, rinse it and then redefine it. Then I'll squeeze out the excess water and then give it a little swirl on the redefined area again to make it super fluffy. So now I'm going to be using the eye half of the brush mat. I'm repeating the same process again. I'm dampening my brush, putting some Sigma shampoo on it and then swirling it around on the wash eye area. You can see this brush was super gross. and then rinsing the shampoo away and then rinsing the brush and then squeezing the excess out and then redefining that. And super clean eye brush. So I love using the Sigma mat because it really does get your brushes super clean and it's so quick and easy compared to other brush mats that I've used and other textured brush cleaning tools. It's just so quick and easy and I love the rubber stickies on the bottom because it sticks to the sink, you don't have to hold it. And these are my brushes before and after. So you can see they're super clean. So to get them even more clean now, I'm going to be using some rubbing alcohol that I've put into an old spray bottle. I'm just going to be spraying this on some cotton pads. And then you want to wipe the brush handles of your brushes because you're touching them all the time and they're collecting bacteria and germs. So to make your brushes extra clean, and this is what I do as a makeup artist as well, I just ensure that all my brushes are really clean to keep bacteria away. And that is my super clean brushes. It was so quick and easy using the Sigma mat. And I find that this is the best method and way that I use to get my brushes really clean. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.